So my name is Chip Weon McCrimmon. I go by Chip to make it easier for everybody. I'm the founder and CEO of Hero Hub. Um, I was born in Toronto, raised in Saskatchewan, went to high school in Indiana uh, for lacrosse, did my undergrad at Brock University uh, for political science where I also played on the lacrosse team. And then I just finished a master's of management innovation entrepreneurship from the Smith School of Business at Queen's University. I'm Marina, I'm the CXO and co-founder of Hero Hub. Um, I went to Brock University for my undergrad in business communications and I actually quit my full-time job right out of university to move up to Queens full-time and work on my business with these guys who are doing their masters there. Yeah, my name is Sundar Meku. I'm the CTO of Hero Hub. Uh, I also graduated from the Masters of Management, Innovation and Entrepreneurship program at Queens University recently and have a background in computer science at Ross University and from Brown too. So Hero Hub is a charitable ecosystem that creates a greater social impact by connecting individuals with charities, nonprofits, and their opportunities with five innovative tools. So um, about, I think it was a year and a half, two years ago, I ended up uh, trying, I went through really bad depression and I ended up through trial and error, noticed that volunteering actually made me feel really good. Um, so I tried to get more involved in the community, but I couldn't find any opportunities, but I did find one with a local charity. Um, but I went through a four month process with 40 other people. And then in the end, only two of us became volunteers. So it was a really disappointing experience. Um, that was kind of the first light bulb moment. And then if you fast forward six months later, I was uh, hired on as a marketing coordinator for a local charity where I experienced my second light bulb moment, um, which was I, I didn't have the resources, their time or anything to really market the organization and you know recruit volunteers, get sponsors, all that kind of stuff. So um, it was kind of a problem identified on my own. And then we, we took it from there and started doing research. Okay, so our ultimate goal with Hero Hub is to become, um, when somebody thinks of charity, they think of Hero Hub, and what we're going to do is um, literally become a charitable ecosystem for anything charitable. Um, and that's, that's really the big goal is to take this at least across Canada, that's our minimum goal, but hopefully across the, across the world and really make a difference uh, and help the organizations and help the individuals and the businesses and the beneficiaries. So step by step, we've noticed how much of a difference we make. One of the things that we do is a monthly initiative. So we've done a blood drive, we've done a clothing drive, and just noticing the difference we make in the community is definitely something that's inspirational and motivational to what we're doing. And just making a difference, you know, like we've experienced this problem firsthand. So I really feel like we're really motivated to come up with a solution and just put it out there and get the community going. Yeah, I'd piggyback off that and basically just say like anytime that we've talked with people um, about Hero Hub, whether they're an organization or an individual, they're just like super excited about what we're doing. And we actually had a guy like a couple months ago, like thank us like very genuinely and was like, man, thank you so much for doing this. Somebody needs to do that. So stuff like that really fuels me. I could probably say the same for these guys. So yeah. Passion for me. And I really wanted to um, build the social economy of Canada and also be a mentor for female entrepreneurs. And I feel like these guys also pump my tires a little bit and help me with, with that as well. I've, I mean, I've been told from a lot of my mom's peers that are, uh, you know, in the entrepreneurial sphere, the business sphere that like, wow, your son's only 26 and he's doing this kind of stuff. So um, I'm honestly, I really think that me being so young is a huge advantage because I can fail so much more. I can take so many more risks. I can, you know, get up and move whenever I want. I can do all these things that a lot of older people cannot do because they're bogged down with a family or I mean, that's not a bad thing, but all sorts of different stuff I can do and I can take advantage of it due to my age. And doing this like so young, it really drives um, a vision for the future as well. Like um, you can change in so many different ways. And if you're adaptable to change, then I say like you'll be able to learn very easily as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and do all that. Uh, one piece of advice that we all sort of carry on is turning your disadvantages into advantages and sort of just keep doing that. Like people say like you're too young, you can't do this. Marina being a female, they sort of like a lot of backlash with sort of what we're doing, but we've always turned our disadvantages into advantage. Like Chip being native, he always, always goes out and puts himself out there and like normal. I'm a first na I'm a native person from a native background and I could like and uh, it really just put, makes him different, just makes him stand out in the room. Marina being a female, it just it definitely just puts her out there and makes her different from the, everyone else that's in there. So definitely just turning your disadvantages into advantages. And my advice is to do what you love. Um, when you do what you love, you'll find your own way and you'll unknowingly motivate others to do the same. 
I gotta, I gotta add something because I love this question. Um, I would definitely say being comfortable, being uncomfortable. That's the single-handed biggest piece of advice I would have told myself, you know, five years ago um, or anybody else. I still tell lots of people that. Um, you know, make your, put yourself in those situations that you don't like because it'll help you grow as a person, and it'll kind of like what Sundar was saying. It'll, it'll help you uh, make your disadvantages your advantages. And ask questions. You never know if you're going to get a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so being in one of the AMA sessions with Ryan Holmes definitely was really helpful because he told us about the trend with the social impact Canada is happening. And Hero Hub is like perfect time for Hero Hub to come in and really empower the charities and nonprofits in the communities and sort of make a global, global impact locally. <laughs> I, I would definitely have to say that uh, the support and resources from LOI was amazing um, and touching on what Marina was saying, like the network, it, it's been amazing to actually, I, I think, talk to like young entrepreneurs like ourselves and see like they were in our, our position like two or three years ago and like look where they're at. Um, and it's been really encouraging and motivating knowing that like anybody can do this and it's just really down to your mindset and your determination, your willingness to get stuff done. And the fact that we were able to talk like one on one over um, Ask Me Anything sessions and stuff like that to like Ryan Holmes, the founder and CEO of Hootsuite, and Tara Bosch, the founder of um, Smart Suite. So it was really awesome to hear their feedback. And the fact that they are guiding us along the way was really cool. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs>